Welcome everyone to our GEM session, Effective Grammar Development and Testing. Um, I'm really excited uh, that we have this session today. Um, I would like to give you a quick outlook on our agenda, what we are going to cover today. First of all, I'm going to um, give you an update on today's goals, so what we try to achieve with this session. Uh, then I'm actually pretty excited to introduce um, one of our partners, New Echo. And we have a guest speaker in the line, um, Eve Normandy, CEO from New Echo. And then I will basically um, give control to Tobias Goebel, who's um, running our uh, pre-sales engagement as a senior consultant in the field. And we do a live demo of uh, Voice Objects Desktop with the so-called Newgram uh, Gram ID. And finally, we'll close this session today with a Q&A section. A few remarks uh, for today's uh, webinar. Um, if you have any questions, please type them into the chat panel of WebEx, and uh, we will pick them up at the end in the Q&A section, and we'll try to answer all of those um, as best as we can. And um, maybe the advice is also that you all put your phones on mute to improve the overall audio quality. Thanks a lot, and now let's get started. Uh, again, first of all, what is the goal of today's session? Essentially, we are um, in a very nice position to present a new partner uh, to the voice object um, <coughs> partner ecosystem, New Echo, uh, based in Montreal, Canada. And um, I will leave um, the introduction to New Echo to the person who can do it best, uh, Eve, and he will do this in a few minutes. Essentially, what we want to learn today and what we want to transport is how to fill a significant hole from our point of view in the direction of speech and touch tone grammar development. So we are having prepared a few things um, to educate you how you can create and analyze speech grammars and how to control the so-called grammar coverage. Um, so for those guys who build speech applications are well aware that there are um, scenarios where you need to, you know, tune grammars, you need to figure out what is uh, in a grammar, what's out of grammar, so there's a very, very effective way doing this in a kind of semi-automated fashion. Uh, we also provide um, some learnings on how to build and manage uh, grammar test cases. So this is specific of interest while applications are changing over time. Obviously, the business rules are changing, and also speech grammars need to be changed. So the question here is, if you start to then restructure speech grammars, how do you make sure that existing test cases still continue to work with the deployment you have in place? And uh, it's not only about technical learnings, it's also about uh, the value proposition uh, we want to provide. So the new gram IDE provides significant um, improvements to speed up the grammar development process, but also gives you much better control how you build um, the, the quality of the grammar. So in terms of recognition quality, which is bottom line, the thing you would like to achieve. And as well as in any other project, it's about documentation. So since the speech industry has moved to a pure XML model, the question is also how you document effectively um, a grammar development effort. And um, the issue here on the table is that XML is a great uh, technical standard, but for human beings, being able to read this fluently is sometimes really pain in the neck. So here, I think we have a really good offer to show you how can you can navigate interactively through grammar and you can document this on a different level than XML and make it really uh, human readable. And obviously, since the speech grammar industry is um, supported by multiple speech recognition vendors, um, the question is also how you can basically build an agnostic IDE and use it across different speech recognition platforms. Even though Nuance is dominating the market, obviously there are many, many more vendors there. And the good news, others um, who have been, you know, a little bit um, in the background are now coming forward. Uh, so we see more deployments with folks like Siemens and Luminvox and Loquendo, etc. So this is really good news. And obviously, our interest is to show you the seamless integration on the Eclipse tooling platform between our offer, Voice of Success for Eclipse, and the new Echo, Newgram IDE, which is in the same sense an Eclipse plugin. 
for those guys who know voice objects for quite some time may have already seen this slide. We're using this in our pre-sales engagement quite often, and this is what we call the the voice application lifecycle diagram, where you really go through multiple steps and start from analysis requirements, going through design and development phases, 